Wow, this could take some getting used to. We got a new camera, boys and girls. Does it look different? It should look a lot more higher quality. I'll still be using the other one every once in a while when I need to like, you know, not worry about breaking the camera. That's when I'll use the other one. But I gotta get used to like zooming in and out. What is going on, Kafros? Welcome back to yet another video here. Today, we are at Top Shelf Aquatics. Back here with my boy, Steve. And I'm here to pick up the mantis shrimp aquarium. I, uh, as you know, used the other aquarium that we were initially gonna put the mantis shrimp in for fish. So now I'm here to get the mantis shrimp one. Let's do it. Weesh. My boy Steve's over there working. <laughs> What's up, buddy? What's going on, Steve? Oh, yeah, I got a brand new camera. Wow, fancy I'm pants. Working with a little here. fancy, yeah, yeah, but you know, the big tank's coming, so. You still don't have an orange filter, though. No. We are here on the tank side of things, Steve. What's this, going on? Gosh, this camera looks beautiful. <laughs> here you go, Chris. Is this your first? Uh, yeah, it's my first time. Oh, wow, it. okay. I literally just turned it on in the parking lot. I haven't oh, even, really? I have not even right, connected the lens to the thing. Oh, that's exciting. Anyway, we are here so at probably, the tank oh section. Out. Yeah, I'll eat it. You want it? Here. Yeah, no, I'm not doing it. <laughs> just kidding. This tank right here is the exact tank we have at home. Like, literally just a different piece of rock inside of it. But we're literally going to take this and put it right in the fish room. Look at that. Beautiful. Although I'm gonna swap it for a different one because I am getting a mantis shrimp. And a mantis shrimp doesn't exactly need a, that type of structure. It needs more of a structure it can go in and under and hide in. So we're gonna swap this for a different one. This right here is the exact same one as the other one. So I'm thinking we okay. just literally get this, same setup, same okay. scenario. Okay. Put it to the other side and it's like boom, boom. Same exact thing on each side and you walk through the door. So it's like pillars. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. On and the man's side. shrimp is on this side, fish are on this side. Dude, these tanks in here are beautiful. We're about to go look at the rocks for our mantis shrimp tank, but Steve just got caught up with the customer, so I want to show you this. Just look at this. I mean, we don't have the orange like light that really pops the corals out. I need to get a filter for that. That ain't the prettiest 20 gallon you ever seen. It's literally the exact tank. The same tank. This is it. Just uh, I'm probably two years old. This is kind of cool too. You get a piece of like uh, just like glass. It's actually kind of dirty, but put it on top of the water, and you could just look at all the corals like this through the top of the water. Now, although the lighting's a little blue right here, let me know what you guys think of the new camera down in the comments down below. Do you like the old one? Do you like this one? I mean, it's a no-brainer. How do you not like this one better than the old one? The old one is just uh, the old one. I can't wait till my other 20 gallon that we've had set up yeah, yeah. is ready to put coral in because I'm a I'm gonna be here buying coral. Got a couple more weeks though for sure. You got the conk with his eyeballs and he's touching around but then you got these little tiny baby starfish up top as well. Super cute. You have one already? Yeah I do. Although once we do get coral we're probably gonna need to get rid of the starfish we just got. We got Patrick the star. Roll the clip. <laughs> Patrick. Patrick. Hey buddy. Patrick. Sucking out of my hand. There you go, homie. We got Patrick the star. Sharp star. Different Patrick. And he's in there. Yeah. But that's perfectly fine because my boy Chris just got a 20 gallon too. We have two starfish. So I'll have two starfish in there. Check this big old tank out right here. Cool. And if you remember last time we were here, this right here is actually something that they put seaweed strapped to with that rubber band and they could just bounce it around and eat and that keeps these fish busy because otherwise they you know they can get bored just sitting there dude look at all these brine shrimp chris look at all these brine shrimp oh wow those are all They're alive too yep brine shrimp that's crazy looking big old tank should see the one we're building here in a couple weeks <laughs> that's in my office it eats that let me just tell you that it might just be like a uh, hundred gallons maybe maybe did I just spoil it? I don't know. You'll have to wait and see. Subscribe. <laughs> I think they have similar, similar to what? You just broke the freaking thing. Chris, Chris. How much is that rock? Five hundred dollars. Chris, you just put me in debt. Uh, well, I gotta go tell Steve. He broke your. Seriously? Yeah. Dude, I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. I'll take the blame, Chris. It's all right. <laughs> oh, this one? Oh, that's yeah. Eddie's script. You just gotta go like this. <laughs> no, what, what happened actually? Back of his foot. He was just filming it. Why do they keep getting taken out of the tank? I'm gonna give him shit. Because he keeps doing it and they keep breaking. 
every time. Don't do that. Oh, I'm going to. No, it was, <laughs> he's moving stuff around and. And leaving it on the floor and having it break. Again, just like that other one. Don't do it, Kevin. <laughs> you started drama at Top Shelf. That might be the most beautiful blue tang I have ever seen in my life. Just how dark the black is, how light and vibrant and saturated the blue is. Beautiful fish. That fish in particular, even from above, I mean, look from above. Wow, dude, wow. That thing is worth every dollar. How much is it, 250? 250. 250 bucks for that fish. <laughs> Look at that little panther grouper. Should I stuff it in my tank? So pretty, bro. Boca dots. He's coming, he's showing off. He's definitely showing off because he wasn't just doing that five seconds ago. 60? Not bad. It's not too bad. Chris is over here just looking at everything. He's like, like should I get that? Should I get this? Should I get that? No, it is. It's hard to just even walk out here empty handed, that's for sure. I'm going to load right. up this tank. You want to take them on a little shopping yeah, spree? Yeah, let's, let's go. Right. Bri right. He's going to get stuff. you everything we need for the tank. Shopping spree on Paul's dime. I love it. Yes. <laughs> no budget? No budget. Okay, cool. Just joking. I wouldn't do that to him, but <laughs> what we're probably doing, I think Paul said this is going to be uh, for the main fish shrimp. So we don't have to add a ton of light for a mantis shrimp. We just need a little bit of light. So we'll start with the lighting, then we'll kind of go into um, some flow and so forth and kind of go from there. So for lighting, I think what we're going to do is, should I give Paul the cheaper one or the more expensive one? Cheaper one. The cheaper one? Now I won't do that, I'll give him the more expensive one. It's a mantis shrimp, I don't okay, think cool. he needs nothing. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna give him this light. So this is uh, AI Prime, um, Aqua Illumination. This is a really cool light. So um, this has a software that you download on your phone and you're able to program the light. So it does sunset, sunrise. I think they even have thunderstorm modes and all kinds of cool stuff on here. Um, and this one light is essentially enough to like do, do the whole thing. We're, we're, we're adding the budget. Building the budget. Perfect. All right. Yeah. He's the man. Uh, so yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna give him this AI light. Um, and then we also need here. I'm just gonna start putting this over here. We're also gonna need a bracket for that light. If I can find one. Um. Boom. Here we go. So this will be the bracket that holds the light. Which is kind of cool. We're also going to need uh, live sand uh, and some live rock for the mantis shrimp. What we're going to probably do is uh, a little bit of a, a thicker gravel. This is from Cribsy. This is live sand. This is the reef sand, so it's a little bit thicker. Um, the mantis shrimp will be right at home in their natural habitat. It's a little bit of a thicker gravel. It's not like a beach sand. So we'll add that up there. It's nice aqua top heater. It kind of tells the temperature and everything on there as well. So this is new rock that just started coming out. Um, it looks like real rock, but this is actually man-made, which is really cool. Um, so it's painted, it's got the color, uh, and he's gonna be able to add some of this in there and get some uh, some structures going here. Yeah, so something like that, I don't know. He could play with that a little bit. So I think this will be enough rock in there. So I got your light, your bracket, your sand, my heater, your rock, the tank, the stand. So yeah, that's it. Yeah? Cool. Yeah. All right. Take him for a nice shopping spree? I did. I'll give you a little discount. Yeah, that's fine. Unless I can get some lights, you know. Hear what he said again? Gosh darn it. You do it every time. <laughs> Smash the down like button. Hit the like button. Top Shelf's Instagram. Comment on the recent post Paul sent me. It's been a lot of comments. And I didn't even know. It's funny. My social media guys don't really tell me. And Paul sent me a screenshot of all of you guys. Just commenting on the commenting Instagram. Commenting on our Instagram, which is really the cool. The so. are powerful, man. Hey, you guys are very powerful. We got the Mantis Shrimp Aquarium. We are good to go here. Thank you Top Shelf for always hooking it up. Hello, welcome to a new segment. This is called Learning Spanish with Paul. I'm here with my buddy Chris, and he's trying to teach me how to communicate with not only him, but Hector. Hector, el patron. I'm trying to just, out of nowhere, start speaking Spanish with Hector. I think he'd find it really funny. I've actually been texting him. I told him to strictly text me in Spanish and I'd have to look it up and learn myself. Tell him the voice message you sent. I, it didn't uh, say okay. it. So, um, let's start with how are you doing? Como? Como estas, right? Estas. Como estas. But if it's like, how are you today? Como is, esta hoy? Como esta hoy? O como esta usted hoy? Este hoy. Yeah, este. Como esta este hoy? <laughs> <laughs> this is the banger. Well, you, you, well, banger you can see a couple of times. So most people say palo. Like, palo? Like banger, yeah, it's a, it's a palo. That's what this is. Palo. Este video 
How do you say boom? Just boom? Boom, yeah. Boom. Boom! Temprano, bro. <laughs> what does that mean? What does that mean? Tomorrow early, he said. Tomorrow early. Yeah. I sent him, I Mañana love you, Hector. Mañana is tomorrow and temprano means early. Here's the conversation with me and Hector. He said, hola, sexy. I said, hola, amigo. He sends me all the wood after I asked him for it. Te amo, Hector. I said, I love you, Hector. And then he sends, I'll be there early tomorrow, pretty much. We have the f funniest relationship on planet Earth. What should I say, Matt? say, te cuidas, amigo. Like, me say, te cuidas, friend. amigo. What is it? Te cuidas. Te cuidas. Te cuidas. Cuidas, amigo. Be safe, bro. Oh, be safe, friend. You know. Thank you for tuning in to Chris and I's Spanish learning. If you guys want to see more of this, comment down below. Los vemos en mi casa. I'll see you at my house. You know? Los vemos en mi casa. Yeah. Adios. <laughs> <laughs> Quick stop. We stopped here on the side of the road because my mom actually brought us something that a friend of hers. Is this a friend of yours? This is a friend of my friend. Hey, oh, isn't he great? Yeah. My name is. Quack, quack, quack. Look at this little cross Hey, I'm sorry to break it to you, Kiefer, but once you do touch squad, I call them a squad, he's never gonna be noticed again. You won't be able to tell which No, one's he's him. not gonna be able to tell. Will they be nice to him? When yes. Yeah, okay, 100%. that's my concern. I've brought in multiple. Okay, so he came from a state fair where they were giving away baby ducks, and he ended up being raised Hi, bud. at this little house of Palm Beach Gardens, and they quack, thought quack. it was time for him to have quack, quack. more space. Well, he's gonna have plenty of space yes, and a lot of is. friends. Yes, he is. Thanks, I love Mom. High five. You're welcome. I got it. Oh, wow. There you go, Mom. Chill. Well, we got a duck. Now, we were heading to the farm either way. We had to go feed all the animals, and my mom texted me and said, My friend has a duck to give you. Beacon duck added to the family. I said, All right. Got a duck. <laughs> New tanks, ducks. Who knows what's next? He's, he's really cute, man. He is. Hey, bud. <laughs> Ah. You gonna jump? Oh yeah! Buddy took a tumble that time. There you go. How does that taste, little baby? That tastes good? Oh yeah! What about you, Emmy? Tastes good? What about Mama over there? Hey! That lens looks good, let me tell you! Now on over to our, you know, the big pigs over here. Lady May and Mango. I did some rocks over here to, to make the mud a little, little less muddy. But there's just so much mud, I'm gonna need even more rocks than this. Ow! She freaking bit did he, me! Oh, did he, God, Mango! <laughs> you bit Chris, dude. We gotta do waters. You guys are all just eating away. Hey, Buttercup, what's going on? That tastes good. <laughs> Bubba! Bubba! Woohoo! Hey, buddy! So cool looking with this lens. They are loving life. Don't touch my lens, buddy. You're gonna get it dirty. Everyone's eating, though. Another cool. The hogs eat, the other pigs eat, everyone eats. All right. Oh, that was so cool. First try, 100%. <laughs> All right. Ah, so <laughs> close, dude. Anywhere but the hole. Come on, bud. Go. Go into your new home. I got a new duck. You're cleaning yourself off, huh? <laughs> well, he's doing good. He'll get along with the gang of pharaohs. We gotta go back home and start setting up this fish tank. Let's do it. Now for the rocking, we want to make as many caves as we can. Back from the farm, and before I continue on with today's video, I actually did the Pokemon raffle. As you know, I gave away three vintage packs a while ago because I do these little Pokemon drops, and y'all absolutely crushed it. So here's me announcing the winners. I've got all the orders done, labeled, everything. And I've got a little bag now, they're very tiny. There's actually probably like 150, 200 orders inside this little thing. I've mixed them up in every piece of paper. 
has an order number on it. So if you bought 10 packs, there's 10 of your order numbers in this little bag. Good luck to all the contestants. Let's do this raffle. Shaky, shaky, shaky. Now I just want to let everyone know, Ethan Johnson here ordered 12 PC packs and a couple other things from the site. So I could not help but give him one of the vintage packs. We're still giving away two of them. And to replace his pack that I just kind of gave him because of how much he ordered, I'm giving away this Pikachu VMAX. I opened a Vivid Voltage pack for fun and I actually hit this. So I was like, I'm gonna give this away too. So congrats Ethan for the number one winner. Look how thick that thing is. We're giving away two more and a Pikachu though. Mix it around real nice and good, you know? Order number 1842. 1842. Now I go through the box, I found 1842. There it is, right there, vintage pack. Congrats, Corey. Winner, winner, but we still got two more. Shake it up, makes it around, and the next winner is... 1817, 1817, Ryan Hughes. That name sounds really familiar and you only bought one pack. So for the price of one pack, this man just won the second vintage pack and I hope you enjoy it. Maybe you'll open it, maybe you won't. It's completely sealed to keep for later on in life. You want to hold on to it. Pikachu, shake it around. Random number. 1893, 1893. Jeremiah bought eight packs, eight packs. So buying all those packs paid off, Jeremiah. You won yourself a VMAX Pikachu right there. Going in with your eight PC packs. That's that, fellas. That is a raffle. We gave away three vintage packs and a Pikachu. We got more PC packs left and I'm gonna be doing more raffles just like this. So stay tuned if you did wanna get yourself a little PC pack. Top link in the description. We're back from that, y'all. Don't look behind me, what were you looking about? That's next video. We, 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 we made something right here. I'm not gonna say what it is, but it's totally not a pond. Totally not a pond that I've been saying we're gonna make for months. No, no, not that. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Hit the like button, smash it, and I'm gonna upload this video, maybe not tomorrow, but the next day. Literally made a pond. I don't wanna show much. Let me give you a quick little you know? <laughs> Probably gonna blur the screen when I did that. Subscribe and you won't miss it. Fish are doing good, hey buddy? The glass is a bit dirty, but uh, yeah, the fish are doing good. Our shrimp is right there. Betas are doing fantastic. Logan! I, <laughs> I can't show you because <laughs> the pond is behind you. I gotta blur it. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Yeah. <laughs> I was so not expected. Peace.